You know, that's my man's in them. You see what I'm doing? My man's in them is doing. Because you know, that's my man's in them. It's terrible! Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Uptown 2525, Uptizzle, Yak Master. You already know, baby. We're about to get into this thing, man. All right, man. We're going to start it off. I was uh, 13 years old, and um, me and my boy, we just came from the playground. We was chilling. We was hanging out. And my boy George, he's kind of bugged out. Dude's like an alien, man. Guy was like real strong, real diesel, arms crazy. He was like a year older than me. I think he was like 14, 15. I'm really sure. But the dude was like built like a man. You know what I'm saying? At, at our age. I'm small, slinky, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Still slinky. You know how your boy does. But anyway, we're walking down out of the park. And then this like pit bull all of a sudden like just runs up on us. Like like rushing, like running towards us. And you see the owner like down the block. They didn't say stop. They didn't say anything. So me naturally, it's a pit bull. I'm like, this thing yaps me. I, I'm I'm done for. You know what I'm saying? So I run up. There's like a gate. So I run up on the right side and I climb the gate. And I'm on top of the gate. <laughs> like, I'm not getting bit by this thing. I was scared. It was rushing really quick. So my boy, George, the dude that I told you about, solid dude, the pit bull jumped at him like at his neck. And my boy George just clamped his hands on, on the pit bull and started choking it. Like, and it was gasping. It was like, nah, nah. you know what I'm saying? Making that, that crazy sound. So I'm looking and I'm, I'm looking at the same time. I'm looking at my boy and I'm looking at him choking out the door. And then, and then I just, I squirmed away. Like I didn't want to like look anymore. Like I was like, oh, this is crazy. It was disgusting. And then you just hear the dog like die slowly. Like as he's choking the dog, you know what I'm saying? It was ridiculous, you know what I mean? Ridiculous that this 14-year-old boy yapped the full-grown pit bull, choked it, choked the life out of it, and then, like, all of a sudden, the owner runs up like, like, yo, yo, that's my dog. And then my boy's like, you want to take this place? Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so the owner just walks off, like, just went across the street and walks off, you feel me? So that interaction was like bugged out, you know what I mean? I still remember that to this day. And then one time we was getting yacked up. We was in front of the uh we was in front of the building, chilling, hanging out, getting yacked up. You know, just doing us. We was young. Um I was around I was around 21, um, 20, right around that that range, uh, at, at the age range. And um and then like we hanging out, we chilling. So we going to the store, like we finished the yak. We had like three bottles of yak in between like four of us. And like, you know, all these guys that I was hanging out with, they were like drug dealers. And and, and, and the other guy too, he was like a, a upcoming like dude, like, you know, trying to make a name or whatever. So he's hanging out with the with the big guys, you know, the big boys. So we all go into the store after we get the yak. So we're about to get some beer. So we go into the store. And when we go into the store, one of one of our one of our friends like hangs back. So we go, there's a group of dudes like in front of the store, I'm paying them no mind. We going in there, we getting our drinks, we're about to come back. Guys, like we never seen these guys before, like obviously everybody knows each other from the area. We might not know each other's name, but everything's like face by face. So one of my boys, while I'm in the store, spits on the guy's face. So all of a sudden we see commotion outside and we, and we come outside like, yo, what the hell is going on here? So we run outside. Me and the dudes that we with, I don't want to say no names because obviously these, this dude probably feel offended, you know what I mean? Probably sue me or whatever. So I'm not going to say no names, but there was dudes that I was with. The dude that spit on his face, all of a sudden the dude got rowdy, got crazy, took off his shirt. And then they, it's like summertime, it's hot, and they, they're about to fight. And But they're about to jump my boy out from out, outside. So we run outside like, yo, hold up, hold up. So, you know, they strap, we strap, so... You know, we, we holding on to what we got. You know what I'm saying? So they holding on to what they got. And I'm like, yo, what's the problem? You know what I'm saying? I post a dude like, yo, what's going down? And he's like, he's like, nah, man. Yo, your man spit on my face. He spit on my face. So I'm like, nah, man. 
Then I look at my boy like, yo, you, you spit on this dude's face, and my boy's like, my boy's not really saying nothing. So, so he like, yo, I just, I just wanna, I wanna one deep fight with this guy. So I'm like, I'm like, yo, if you spit on his face, dude, like, I'm like, that we gonna have to let you brawl out with the dude. You know what I'm saying? You and him gonna have to, you, you and him gonna have to settle it. So my boy like, nah, we gonna handle this because you know what I'm saying? I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> it ain't no we, homie. It's not no we. It's you. Like you spit on his face. We not getting into nothing with these dudes if you decided you want to spit on somebody's face. You feel me? You feel what I'm saying? So I forced my boy to fight the dude. So they fight and they scuffle. <laughs> and my boy gets wrecked, man. I mean, bad. He's in the corner, like on the gate, and and the other dudes just like bang, 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 just hitting them, man. And my boy's like. Ooh. Like, like hovering like a little kid, you know what I'm saying? Getting beat up, massacred. And I wanted to jump in so bad, you know what I mean? But I promised to do a one-on-one. -on -one. I thought, as gangster as my boy was, spitting at this dude, he was going to handle the situation. You feel me? He didn't. He failed. So I wound up, like, like cutting in between after him pouncing on him so much. And I'm like, yo, we good? Because I didn't even want to see it no longer. And he's like, nah, we good. We good. So they walked off. I walked off. And I was like, wow. You know what I mean? That's just one of the losses we took for the block. You know what I mean? We had to take that loss back to the block. But on another note, there was another time we was chilling. Uh, well, I, we wasn't chilling. I was, I, was, um, I was in between cribs, like moving in and out of cribs. But when I did get settled in, I went to go shop and get some milk, some bread. You know what I'm saying? For like the next morning, like to cook breakfast and stuff like that. So I went to the store. I got the gallon of milk in my hand with the bread and everything. And um, my boy, my boy Kree runs up in the store and he goes, he goes, yo, yo, we gotta go handle something. Yo, you win? I'm like, I'm like, oh man, <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? He like, yo, we gonna, we gotta go handle something. You, you win or not? And I'm like, you know, I'm not trying to look. Crazy, I was starving, and I was like, yeah, I want to go home, I want to make a sandwich or whatever, but these guys, obviously, it was like a, in real need of a soldier, so I was like, you know what, man, whatever, I dropped the milk down, I went into the car, we both got in the car, it was my boy, um, Gri, it, 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 was a, it was a couple other dudes, you know what I'm saying, but I don't want to incriminate shit like that, you know what I mean, but, pardon the curse, sorry, stuff like that, so, we hop in the car, and then, um, we get in the car, so, I don't know what's going on. You know what I mean? I don't know what's happening. And all of a sudden, these guys, they they, they they got ratchets. The other guys got knives. I'm like, oh, man, I ain't got jack squat. You know what I mean? I'm, 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 I went down the block to get milk. I'm unstrapped. I don't know what's going on, so I'm asking questions now. I'm like, yo, what are we doing? You know what I mean? Like, well, what's the purpose of the mission? You know what I'm saying? So my boy um, my boy was like, yo, we're going to go ride out. They disrespecting my man, Pito. This, that, and the third. We're going to go ride out. We're going to ride on these cats. So I'm like, oh, all right, all right. They, what would you mean? What happened? So I'm, I'm trying to, like, get a story out of them. And I'm not. They did disrespect to him. So I'm like, all right, whatever. I'm, at that point, when they talking like that, it's obviously no room for, like, questioning. And they don't really like to be questioning because things are happening. Like, they're already strapped. So I'm like, all right, whatever. I'm in the car. That's it. I'm in. Right? So we run up on the guys. These guys sitting in the park. It was by, um... It was it was by Bronx River somewhere, but it was like uh like a little off Bronx River, like 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 um by story story by story by story houses by the story houses and um by towards the rust and all that was right around there, not by Bronx River, by story houses by towards the rust. So these guys are sitting in the car because I'm um, watching the lights go by and I'm watching the streets of where I'm at. So Pito hops out the car. So, and like, Greek hops up the car, I hop up the car, and you know, I'm like, yo, I need something, you know, I can't go out here like, you know what I'm saying, the only guy without nothing, so my man passed me the burner, I held the burner, put it in my pocket, Greek had a knife, my other man had a bat, my other dude, it was like five of us in the car, so we go in there, and we like, yo, roll down the window, my man, my man Pito goes to the car, he's like, yo, roll, roll down the window, so... so the dude's like, nah, I ain't rolling down the window, so my boy Obi just grabs like, I don't know where he grabbed. I don't know what it was. A brick, a rock. All I know is that the window smashed. So the window smashed and the dude speeds off. My man Kree hops in back of the car while he's speeding off and tries to poke one of the dudes be <laughs> behind the car. Like, you know what I'm saying? So he's trying to poke the dude behind the car. 
and green ones are falling off the car. We get back in the car, and then and then they hop in the other car. It's like two cars deep, like after this certain car. So now, while Gree, we trying to pick up Gree off the ground, because obviously the dude jumped in trying to poke the dude and everything. We pick him off the ground. Um, Beto and, and a couple other dudes, they in the car, and they going out there, and they just, you know, shooting off the gun at the car in, in, the, mid, in the midway, like, highway and everything. While we still, like, trying to pick my man up and trying to speed up to where they were at, they were gone by that point. I head back down the block. And um, we get back to the block, and then we waited for the result of what happened. You know what I'm saying? But the thing was, like, on the news and everything. It was ridiculous. So that was, like, another wild situation, man. I just wanted to point out, man. There's so many of them. You know what I mean? But it was bugged out. And then this one time, and um, I was in um, I was in high school. No, junior high school. And um, I went by myself to this this this, this junior, junior high school um, called TAC. Taft High School, Taft Junior High School or High School. I'm not really sure what the age range was. I think it's Junior High School. So we went over there to that, not we, me. I went over there by myself to go see some friends. And a couple of friends of mine, we all met up there and everything. And there were like people coming out the school and everything. And then all of a sudden, I see like a girl, like a Chinese chick, you know, Asian chick. And I'm like, wow, she's beautiful, you know what I mean? I'm going to go holler at this girl, you know what I'm saying? So I'm talking to this girl because obviously I'm by myself. I'm waiting for my friends to arrive. And so my friends arrive and everything, but they're like into into other things and before they get to me. So I'm talking to this girl and the girl got this look in her eye while I'm talking to her. She's like, like looking real scared. So I'm like, what's wrong with this chick? You know what I mean? Like, what's going on? Like, so I'm talking to the chick and then all of a sudden I felt like somebody was behind me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, I was bugging out. I was like, yo, some, you know what I mean? So I turn around and some big dude, real big. It's like, yo, why you talking to my girl? So I'm like, I'm like, yo, like, you know, I, I paused, like, yo, I didn't know that was it. Man, he met me. He hit me hard. Boom, I fell down. I was dizzy. And I, there was like a stick next to me. And I and I hit him over the face with the stick. I kind of gassed him. Gave him like a, 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 a real deep gas. The stick had like nails and stuff over it. So they wound up jumping me in that school. And I wound up going home or whatever, beat up. My mom's was screaming, what happened to you, what happened to you? But anyway, years down the, later down the line, I'm like 20, 22, and I'm 22 years old, and I'm sitting on the corner with my, with my, with my homies, and they're like, and then I see the dude, the same dude, and he got like a, a three-piece suit on, he got the, the scar, he's still wearing it in his face, so I see him, and I'm like, oh man, this is about to go down, because I gave him that scar, you know what I'm saying? So I... I hold on to the strap, like, real tight, like, oh, man, this dude's about to approach me. And white boy, you know, man, all my homies are like, yo, what's up? What's going down? And I'm like, yo, I don't know, man, you know what I'm saying? Just just hold back. Let's see what happens, you know what I'm saying? Well, it is what it is. So homie comes up to me. He tells me, he tells me, yo, man, I got this church right down the block. Um, You could come, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I serve the Lord now. Whatever happened between us happened. It's all good. And that, and that right there was like one of them, one of them things where I was just like, wow, this dude, he's like, yo, I'm sorry. He said he's sorry for what he did. But looking at his face and the scar and everything, I felt bad, equally as bad. You know what I'm saying? But um, it was just one of those situations. It was like, it's too small of a world to think you can escape any situation. Like whatever situation you got going on needs to be handled at all times. You know what I'm saying? And that's just a life lesson learned from your boy, man. Just wanted to share those things with you, man. There's many more storytelling missions, many more storytelling joints that I got for you guys. This is number two in the installment. Don't forget to check out my Yak videos. Holla at your boy.